Wednesday before a nice little holiday. It's Thanksgiving here in America. Thursday and Friday are going to be off and a half day. Uh, so I will not be trading the rest of the week. Going to spend time with my family. I'll see you on Monday. We're going to go ahead and recap today's live stream. Yo, good morning. How we doing? Happy Wednesday. It's up day. Markets are open. Uh, speaking of, of, uh, things, um, Chad, I need your help. I'm with my younger brother-in-laws the next couple of days, and I need to get caught up on lingo. I feel like I'm fairly caught up, but I was with one of them yesterday and he was asking if I knew what a bunch of things meant that I didn't know. Skiddity toilet or something like that. And I was like, I've never heard of that. So then I was like trying to play catch up being like, I know, I know other stuff. I know, I know aura or Riz, but I don't know what skibbity toilet is. So help me out. Give me something cool to say to him. Okay, please. Uh, okay. So I'll be honest right off the bat. I thought we were going to have a view up open. Nice slap 50 points down. Not terrible. 60 points down, I guess. Not terrible. Um, the overnight lows just got swept at 900. Um, value area low from yesterday, 930. Value area high from yesterday, 980s. Overnight highs up at 2120s. Um, we'll see if we can get some direction. I think any form of direction today would actually be incredible with Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm not anticipating that. What I kind of envision is like, you know, first 15, maybe 30 minutes volatility. Uh, we'll call it 30 minutes because we have a lot of a decent amount of news at nine. We got consumer spending, core PC, uh, all at nine. Um, no, oh, seven years at 1032. Maybe we do get a little bit of movement today. I don't know. I'm just not really expecting it day before holiday. It typically doesn't, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm prepared. Gonna be patient. See if we can find a direction. If we can, I'm going to go with the trend. And if we don't find a direction uh, and we are going pretty sideways like yesterday, I'm going to play the range. So we'll see what happens. All right. So we got news at nine. Uh, we've got holiday tomorrow, half day Friday. I would say traditionally the markets are very slow on Friday after Thanksgiving. We'll see if that's the case this week or not. I will not be trading it. I will not be trading tomorrow. I will not be trading Friday. I don't even think the markets are open tomorrow, but I'll be out of town. So, good luck. Okay, I couldn't pop 55. That's weird. Or 60. A little bit of sellers trying to come through. I don't think it's enough. Okay, we did it. We just nuked to new lows almost instantly. A little divergence here also. I'm very tempted to snap long it. I'm not going to, but I am going to buy this. If I can get the fill. Right off volume at 24. But it doesn't look like I'm going to have any luck there on the fill. Just a, a baby sweep of the low into 20. Instant bid up. <coughs> I was looking for one more retest there of 24. We got to 28. Um, take it off. I wanted this volume at 24. Do I try it now? so i don't think it's that much risk yeah it's not enough it's a, it's a decent amount of risk i'm gonna risk six six points here assuming i get the fill i'm long off volume off the 20s 24. i might get swept for six points looks like i'm going to if we can't hold the volume worth the shot though Stop for six. Just don't have that many sellers on that push to the downside. I thought we'd bid it up a little bit more than that. <coughs> All right, we keep firing. Uh, 800 looks decent. So far, everything is melting away. So we'll play it accordingly. Even with uh, Delta looking not like that, really. This might be a slow grind to the downside. Yeah, I agree. Uh, anytime you see Delta doing this, that we're just like slowly melting away, I think it's, uh, yeah, I don't think you're wrong. 
I like the trade I took. Um, I think it made sense off the 20s, off of volume with pretty tight risk. I mean, it would have ended up floating to, oh, hey, yeah, I would have been down 15 points or something at the, at the top there. So I'm glad I took the risk that I did, but and I'm glad I took the trade I did, but I think this is pretty, this is getting pretty telling on the, uh, kind of the melter so far. All right, we're 19 away from getting lit chat. Press it, press it. I mean, interesting spot is right where I got in short. Basically, we got an untested wick there. If we're going to stay heavy, if we're going to stay heavy, this is an interesting spot, but um, it is a little, it's aggressive for sure. And I don't think I get filled and we're about to bounce 800. I don't want to take it if we're bouncing it under either. I'm very happy I had my stopper I did on this trade. Save myself a lot of a lot of pain. No rebound at all. <clears throat> it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. Looking for a 785 fill. Interesting. All right, chat. You ready for the two jokes for today? We got today and tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> Wednesday and Thursday. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. We'll do Friday and then the weekend on Monday. All right. Today's joke, November 27th. I haven't been to the gym in so long. I've gone back to calling it James. <clears throat> I think that's a great, a great dad joke. That, that checks all the boxes for me on that one. <laughs> on a dad joke that checks all the boxes. I think that's what that one's getting put in the pile of, of funny ones. All right, and then we have Thursday, November 28th, Thanksgiving. Here's a dad joke. Should you have your whole family for Thanksgiving dinner? No, you should just stick with turkey. <laughs> also saving that one. I might actually use that one tomorrow. That might be a, that might be one that goes in the back pocket. Well, the 85 got close to getting filled. Whoever was talking about 85, you got pretty close there. Nice, nice response for sure. Matt, the sweater I got from you is the best one I ever purchased. Wow. Big statement. Glad you like it. They are, they are very much top quality. Okay, so what are we thinking here on this? Oh, it's going to close at 10. Open push. Quick rejection at 22. I think it's probably still worth a shot. Delta's a little freaky, but it has been this whole grind of the downside. And I think this is the, this is the, this is the spot that makes the most sense for the, for the bid. So, and by bid, I mean, this is the, this is, I think the spot that makes the most sense for a continued slap, not a bid. I'm so, uh, ingrained. When's the merch going to drop again? Uh, we don't have any plans on it as of right now. Just kind of gauging interest. Cause I, we have to hit minimums and stuff still on another batch. Wow, not enough, not enough continuation there. Missed it by five points on the baby sweep of the high. Taking it off. I mean, we're just truly melting away here. I just, uh, I want to get in. I want to get in at a spot that makes sense. I tried to get short at 820. Taking one trade so far, I got long off volume at 24. We ended up sweeping the prior low. I got stopped out for six points. That's what you see, minus 125. We've ended up just yoinking since then. I tried to get reshort at 22. It got short at 20 instead. I missed it by two points and we flushed 40 points since then. So I'm trying to get in with the trend. I just want to get in a spot that makes sense. Uh, and tough so far. Um, we got IB forming in two and a half minutes. Could be the play. Like all of these little deals make me want to bid it. I'm not going to lie. And like you look at, at buying going on and you're like, okay, we barely swept the low. Kind of makes me want to try, but then I just know that we're probably going to get nuked away here because everything's just melting. IB is set, by the way. That's a double bottom. Normally those get repaired. We already tapped this wick. So I think like an, a stop above 80, I think makes a lot of sense if I can find a cheap trade there for looking at new lows. Honestly, maybe like this. It's fairly aggressive. But I think it makes sense. I 
or it's just going to do it without me. Something like that looks very clean. Going into liquidity at the 50s on like an IB break <clears throat> if I get filled, but I missed it by missed it by a point. All right, I'm in short. Got the buyers coming through. Might break 80. There it goes. All right, I'm down 13 points. Top tick stopped. <clears throat> Trying to get in, prepare this double bottom. I still think it happens. I just don't. I mean, that's just unfortunate. I mean, literally top tick. Quite literally a top tick. I think I'm. I think I'm not going to take another one. Uh, top tick stop is just a bummer. Uh, there it goes. Thank God. Honestly, thank God. I would have really. That would have been really annoying if it melted all the way off of a top tick stop. I dare. I very much prefer it to put in some excess. I still think we rotate uh, and crack the lows most likely. I think that double bottom gets repaired, but. I don't know uh, and it's not this is not the price action that i want to force anything on so i'm not going to um especially going into holiday yesterday was a good day so i'm not gonna force it um good luck be smart be patient everybody i would imagine uh you know we sweep yesterday's low i think it's definitely on the table or get really close to it but i'll see you on monday I hope you have a great holiday everybody um spend some time with some loved ones or friends if you got either one of those Spend some time in the Discord. Uh, we will give you some virtual hugs for the holiday. Good luck, everybody. See you Monday. Be smart, be patient. Go get back your bag. Peace.